his mother replied as she locked. All right. Elgato technical issues aside, I'm ready to go. Usually I just have to reset the card or like reset the capture source and then it fixes it. But it's something that I shouldn't have to do. So, but Elgato is pretty much the only brand they sell here in Australia that's easily available. I'm just taking inventory. Uh, I mean, I guess I could finish Samson. Or I could try... You know, I haven't really tried Isaac at all. Like, I'm not sure what the gimmick to this is. It's less items. I think I just have to create a build, more or less. Also, I might be very rusty as I haven't played in a, about a week or two. So be prepared. Feels like Vampire Survivors a little. I've been playing that quite a bit, and just seeing the slots there, it's just bringing me Vampire Survivor vibes. something defensive. I'm kind of curious how this works. Wait, what is... Hmm. I wonder what that achieves. Maybe I should read into how this character works, because, like, there appears to be some rotation thing going on. Unless that's how I pick which item is going to get removed next, potentially. That would be my guess. <laughs> be tricky enough to move it in time. Got it. Oh. 
may as well. Oh. Alright, uh, I guess. Damage up. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, wow, that was lucky. <laughs> Be gone. That is an item that I'm going to get rid of. I hope it works the way I think it does. make a money donation because there's not a whole lot of incentive to buy stuff from the shop unless it's amazing or equipment I guess oh thank you character is going to be difficult to finish because if it really is you only get eight items then I mean it's going to be tricky It's that great. We'll go with this one. Hey, Laura, what's up? 
Oh, nice. Hang on. Yera. Soul of Lilith. Oh shit, it counts as a... Soul of Lilith. Wait, so then... How does this... Work? Maybe I'm wrong about how this character works. Okay, I, I should read. Because this bar, like... I assumed it was just the only items you could lack, so hang on. Tainted Isaac. Let's know how this character works. Tainted Isaac can only hold eight passive items at a time. Tainted Isaac's current eight items are visible in the top left corner. Upon picking the ninth item, the currently selected item, or rather the item in the white square, will be dropped in the pedestal in front of him. The swap key can be pressed to cycle. In exchange for doing this, all rewritable item pedestals will cycle between two items of the pe player to choose. Right? Some items can be taken and left behind without their effect being reverted, such as HP upgrades. They should be left behind as a priority. Right. Weird. But, okay, I still have the eyeball. So it didn't really work. Oh. Okay, I should try and get that. Try going to bed, stomach is having none of it. Oh no, dude. Sorry to hear. Um, yeah, the last fight in Zelda 2 was funny. I beat the game as a chicken, so I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I'm, I may as well, right? That's gonna get consumed. Wait, what? Bizarre. I mean, whatever. Oh, because it rotates choices, that's why. I think I get it. Of course I beat the game as a chicken. Childhood dream come true. It also may have made the fight a bit less annoying. The chicken's more evasive, but I guess it comes at the cost of not being able to hit as easy. But it was, it was fun. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna leave the card behind. It's weird.
Oh, this is the inverse magician. so sure about this character. know which item I'm going to get rid of. It's this one. Thank you. gambled and lost. What's in here? Neither are really worth it. Not to fight a boss over. Regen. I doubt I'm going to win here. How, 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 how is this not, <laughs> how is this not giving me the item? Speed up. I want to get it because it's going to be a good replacement for this fly.
Oh. Shit, that kind of changes things. But I don't have enough money. Still don't have enough money, but I could get a transformation. doesn't undo the health effects, I just pick this back up. So hang on. Ooh. You know what? Do this. I, I don't want to give up the health regen. There we go. I think the health regen's too good right now. that I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna go do it. Ah, oh, finally! Okay. Uh, what am I getting rid of? Maybe the little friend? I don't know. I'm not convinced about the little friend. Okay. Yep, that was the correct choice. content with this and then just pick this up again. Next in line is the battery in terms of removing an item. Maybe the fly. We'll see.
I think this is the right call. Oh, nice. Um, that. Okay, I'm okay with this. Okay, so... Hold on. Basically just do that. I think I got the gist of this character, it's just... I'm still not convinced by it. first. Like I like I like the idea of it. It's just I feel like it's gonna get really difficult. Because you're kind of boxed in, in terms of your build. Bombs are Thank you. On the other hand, it does make you think about synergies more carefully. These are pretty crucial in these roguelikes. I mean, even more so, because you only get eight items, so you, I would imagine you have to distribute the items you pick up carefully. Like, you can't just go all towards one thing. Playing one lately that's like half vampire survives and half risk of rain. What's it called? I may have heard of it. Oh, whoops. Rotator? I have heard of it. Heard of it, haven't really seen much of it. But it's been brought up in conversation a few times.
<laughs> you're really interested in vampire survivors and you find a mobile one. What, like a mobile clone or mobile vampire survivors? Because mobile vampire survivors is out now. You can get vampire survivors on mobile. They released it a couple weeks ago. And it's free. No need for the clone anymore. You've progressed too far on this one. Likewise, I've progressed too far on the official one. Or I guess not official, but you know. I guess the one that kind of spawned this new genre, more or less. I don't think concussion is doing very much, so let's just do that. Really? Ah, <laughs> oh, this game sometimes. Like, I, don't, I, I know, I get it. There's a, there's a troll face on the bomb, but still. Doesn't make it any less annoying. Nice. Speed up. I mean, I think as far as roguelikes go, I st I'm still keeping on this one and Vampire Survivors. I don't want to introduce anything new just yet. I do, however, have a bunch of games that I want to play next year. I'm not doing anything new this year. I say this year, but come on, this is basically tomorrow. For me, anyway. It's still, it's still a valid statement, so I don't want to start anything new this year. And I want them to be 2023 things. Mm. Am I doing anything? Probably nothing, because I'm, I'm kind of sick. Like, not completely sick that I can't do anything, but... Yeah, my voice has been, like, a little scratchy. I've had a, a cough. <sighs> so, it hasn't... I don't think I should do anything. I mean, maybe I'll do a stream. The Stardew stuff is honestly been going so well that I might just play that. Everyone seems to be watching me play Stardew. Well, maybe if people are around, I might be like... If people want to watch a movie or something. Because we have done that in the past. I think you'll be streaming until you go to bed. <laughs> at 9.30. That's fair. <laughs> playing Me playing starter is pretty familiar. Yeah. 
You know, you're not the first to say that. Oh. Uh... Hmm. I think this is gonna ruin it. Let me just... What can I check with? I guess if I was to make a choice... This... Let's just see. You think Sade is generally very popular, maybe you stream it. I mean... The thing about picking games is you just... Which is better? Hang on. I think this is better. This... Just doesn't seem to have the same impact. It's the splash damage that's doing it. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it's not just about picking a game that's popular. At the end of the day, it's like a bit of luck and also just, uh, hang on. <laughs> it's a bit of luck and also like what you're going to do, I guess. I think the best bit of, bit of advice I heard this year was from this guy that he makes videos on YouTube on streaming and the whole thing that he says is like do you want to basically have people watching you play games or do you want to make content and there's a big difference between the two It's not to say making content doesn't mean people don't watch you play games, right? It's just... I don't know. This isn't my farm. Not yet. I want to do a bit of this. Not yet. A few runs. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna get started, I would say think about what you're gonna do. But hey, cat, how's it going? How's the rest of yesterday? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Did you finish all your shrimp? Stardew is definitely a great game to play. Of course you finish alright. Nice. I think Stardew for me works well just because I already have somewhat of an audience that was used to me playing games when it was late at night for them or like at a weird time so it was always just like a cozy thing so whenever I play it it's always a nice reminder of that time same with Animal Crossing so I try to stick within the realm of that, and then I guess try to best myself each time. When I finish starting to start and steal my audience. Uh, yeah, I mean, as the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, doesn't mean it's gonna drink. Besides, I'm doing Animal Crossing immediately after. Mm. 
This has nothing to do with you, by the way. It's just... There's truth to it. It's like... You can raid or, like, tell people to go watch someone all you want, but... The majority of people don't. And that's myself included. Like, I've had a few streamer friends raid me and... It's like a small majority that stick around and watch. The majority of them bail, pretty much, the moment that stream is done. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just life, right? And you watch what you watch. Yes, yeah. I'm not insecure about people saying they'll steal, even if it is as a joke. It's just like, yeah, maybe. Whatever makes you happy in terms of watching content, even if it is not watching me and watching someone else potentially. I thought this was going to be a lot harder. I think the uh, the region and the damage reduction is carrying me quite a bit here. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess I I can find out what these are. This is this is an advantage to this. Okay. Uh mm, probably heals still better. Yeah. Okay. Although, hold on. I think holding on to this temporarily is a good idea. See what I can get out of this. Nah. I was hoping that I could get a health item out of it for free, but didn't work. That one. I can still do it, I think. We'll be back later. All right, no worries. I'll probably be playing Stardew by then. I just wanted to get a couple of runs into this because I haven't played in a while. I'm trying to take it easy on my voice as well and not because I can definitely feel like a cough coming. I have the microphone a little closer to my face so then I don't have to speak as loud. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's revealed up. They must have adjusted the health values. There's no way I should be doing this well if only 6.45 damage. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, well, do that. Basically, swap the pentagram out for this. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. This is like a little bit of a fail safe. Sacrifice my attack speed, and like, worst comes to worst, we're just gonna hit B. DVD logo of the game. <laughs> I'll subject you to another DVD logo run. I'm going to win this. Here we go. Victory. Yeah. <laughs> Good. If I can get this out of the way, honestly, great. I think I just need, like, instead of the eye, a meat cube. And then I've got this. What would I swap out? I guess probably the health regen. If I'm ultimately just going to sit still in the fight, health regen's not going to help. What, what is this room? Dude. <laughs> okay. I'm alright. I apologize in advance for what this run may become. Really? 
made it worse. If I had known, I would have kept the purple fly. That would be my source of damage as I'm standing still. useful. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was possible to get that many hearts from one rock. room. Doubt it's in this one. Yep. Calculated guesses on to where he is. Uh, none of these are really worth taking. The thing is, nothing is going to out damage the mascara. And the Nord Leaf is kind of a contingency. The splash damage is just doing a lot for me right now as well. You could argue the, the Toxic Liquid, but for now, no. Uh, okay, this is a freebie. And then put it back. There we go.
I think I'm gonna have to resort to DVD logo. Good. Well, it's not really worth it either. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Uh, hmm. It could be any one of those rooms up the top there. I don't have an escape item, so I might just have to take a gamble. Okay, well that clarifies it a little. It can't be this room, or the room... Well... It can't be either of these two. Yeah, so it can't be the one directly above either. Uh, uh pills since it's a freebie. Thank you. Speed up. All right, not bad. This looks like it's on the edge of the map. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I, no, I have a way out. And that's fine. I can go to all of them. I have the door stop. Then I get everything. Mm, not worth. something. When you combine these two together, it should be good. effects cool
One adjustment I could make to this is... Give up the health regen. I feel like I might do that. Give up the health regen and then take this. So then it's more offensive. Like, worst comes to worst, I just become a DVD logo. <laughs> That's how I win. I'll try not to, but that option's always there. But I think, yeah, this is probably going to do more for me. It just it generates so much of it, it's too good to give up. Just want to see that I haven't missed another boss room. I think we're good. Oh yeah, why don't I just do that? Alright, I'm going, I'm going. Not the most amazing of starts. Why did it have to be that one, specifically? Stun still, still. <laughs> Okay, we have the DVD logo that's now. <laughs> I know this sucks, but like, ugh, what am I gonna do? Let the let the eye take the victory. <laughs> I did apologize in advance for what was potentially going to happen. Ugh. There we go. We're fine. It's okay. DVD logo victory. <sighs> Spin down dice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. Lethal Hog's items heal more. I don't think I've played- I don't think I've played as Maggie at all. Alright, I'll do a Maggie run. I just- I should probably read on how this mechanic works. Okay, so... 
I'm just reading. Starts with two heart containers, two empty hearts, and the yum heart in the consumable slot. When tainted Maggie's health is above two hearts, she will leave red creep on the floor and will lose health at the rate of half a heart per 10 seconds. This health loss affects all type of hearts but prioritizes red health. Affected hearts on the health bar are faded and slowly pulsating. What? So she's losing health constantly? She also receives double healing from all sources except heart pickups. And all enemies have a chance of dropping half red heart upon death. Tainted Maggie has a distinctive melee attack which is automatically performed on enemies who make contact with her. The hug is a swing that functions similar to the... Okay, I think this is... This is one of these things where I, I need to just try it. Spin down is one of the best items in the game. I'll have to check it out. Oh. Oh, this is weird. And then I have to, like... So you just run into sh stuff, like... Whoa. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. I mean, I, I can dig it. Come get hugs. So I guess I should focus on things that are contact damage. But then how are you ever supposed to get the, uh... I suppose you just shoot. I was gonna say, like, devil deals and angel runes, but I guess the idea is just... Hmm. This is a weird one. Definitely been a little, little weird. Okay. Oh, even that's doubled. Okay, this is this is a good item for it. Hey, Epic, how's it going? I'm gonna, yeah. Wait, so. No, but that was a that was a rotten heart. So let's not assume here. the tainted characters. I'm trying this one for the first time, but I'm not sure what to think of it yet. Mm. 
I just played as Tainted Isaac before and it was fine. Oh, this character has low damage. It's a bit early to say like how well this is gonna go, but I get the feeling this health drain thing is going to be not fun. Especially if... If I try to go in for hugs, it just removes my... Oh, see that? There's an item that would work well with this character. This is a good pickup. Okay, it, di it didn't remove my chance, so I can hug, I think. Yeah, I think I may have just gotten a GG item here. Potentially. Um... <laughs> Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Because if, if I'm not wrong, like, watch this. Every time I hit them, it's just an explosion of tears. So this character's about living on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait, but then how's this gonna work when I'm the... Uh, Alright, well, we'll see. What? Even soul hearts get drained? Oh no. We're not having that happen. I don't, uh, I don't know then. Spending power. I'm just gonna increase my damage a little. Yeah, I guess you need to prioritize red hearts above everything else. I can definitely see the build that I've got doing well, it's just... Then when when you're the the lost, you can't exactly run in the melee because you're gonna die. Low damage base as well. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take it. This is such a weird play style. I'm 
Okay. I need to find the treasure room. <laughs> I do like the fact that I can one-shot stuff. It's fun, but... I don't know, this health thing. Uh Okay, no that that's fine. I'm all right with that. Still draining my health. Oh, wait, transform me back. I mean, the Nord Leaf, if you have a damage source, it's always just, it's a win if you're patient enough. <laughs> it's not specific to this character. That was gonna help, but it did not. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna risk fighting the boss again. For a bonus item. I think just in the interest of getting stuff done. I don't think I'm ballsy enough. Not with three base damage. Okay, I'll go back down to the normal path and then... I just want to avoid that other path as much as possible. <laughs> that explosion on here is pretty useful. Okay. Okay. Not as useful as I thought it would be. I guess just fight normally now. Oh, come on. This is probably not going to end well. Okay, thank you.
sure. Well, you don't need to run into enemies to hug them, you just get close enough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Although, bring it with me. Bring it with me, bring it with me. Never know. I don't have an item right now that would replace it. Yeah, I don't think I got the gist of it. Like, I feel like, no. See, that was as close as you can get. Nah. This is rather finicky. Uh, okay. This character plays like a weird speedrun character. I think I was about to say the same thing. It's like, outside of boss rooms, it's just you're breezing through rooms pretty quickly. But then when you get to a boss, it's kind of suffering. Because your health is just draining. And she has a low damage base to begin with, which means you have to make up for that. That's the part that I, I'm not, like, why did she have to have a low base damage? I guess maybe because the hug damage scales off her. But it just... It, I don't know. I get the feeling I'm gonna struggle. I don't know if I should mess with that right now. I feel like that has... What is this? Oh. The, correct me if I'm wrong, but this item is... It lets you re-roll, and it'll take you to the next floor, correct? So it takes all your items away, and then you get choices for every item from that item pool. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the needle then. Uh, but I guess I should do... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Then in the interest of that, does this work? It does. If I'm gonna re-roll anyway, right? Like... There. And then... Take this. Please don't fuck me. Okay, good. Oh, The damage. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I just realized I needed to think quicker, but whatever, it's fine. Bombs are key. Okay, bookworm transformation. Oh, 
again. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind the Genesis. It's gonna hopefully fix things. Because, I mean, the GB bug is not great. It's just... Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Just... Thank you. Wait a minute, is my health going to be draining here? It is, isn't it? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, this is going to suck. Uh, something that just occurred to me. Does she take damage through that door that you're supposed to go through next? Because if she does, then I am screwed. <laughs> Random. Sorry, I'm not comfortable with... Maybe the shot can help through... through that. <laughs> Jeez. I hate this. Because the controller's like, extra vibrate. Hey, spit it out. I assume I need the key. <laughs> so, I kind of have a problem now. Um, the shop is open. I have one more charge for the Yum Heart. Yeah. I'm thinking I might temporarily... Ooh, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm going to temporarily take the book. So I have lasers that seek out enemies. And then I'm going to go through one room and try and get something out of it. Hopefully. And then with that, hopefully get the charge for it. Okay, I mean... Okay, 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 saved. Now I'm gonna go to the door, directly. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, see that's, uh, that's not great. But it's okay, we got to skip a floor. Um, okay. What I might do, just to add fuel to the fire... Okay. This is- this is a risk that I'm taking, but I'm gonna take it.
And then we just use Genesis on the next floor. Hope for the best. <sighs> um, I should look for the item first. I should look for the item first. Yeah, I know, but the rest of the build's not amazing. I think I have more to benefit from this. It doesn't matter. Just seek out the end. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do the boss. I just want more items in this pool. Jeez. Just go. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, Genesis. Ooh, okay. Mega Tier. Solar Samson. Okay. Well. Uh, holy card. Plus one to the lowest stat, which would be at this. Okay, uh, soap. Bandage, that would be a good synergy. Uh, hmm. Should probably use that actually now. All right. I mean, <laughs> I'm leaning towards flashlight. No, 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 no. This final fight. I'm thinking final fight. This is better. Um. This. Uh, we don't want lard. That's just gonna slow me down. Holy shot. What's the first one? That's stone. Skipping stone. I forgot what that does. Anyone know off the top of their head? It's one of the new items, so I'm not quite familiar with it, but I do recognize it. It makes your tears bounce. Okay. I mean, that's probably the better choice. Uh, this doesn't matter. We'll do that. What's that middle one? That's Friend Finder, isn't it? The item. Okay, I need to hurry up. Uh, crit. Okay, I'm pausing. Um, I could go full melee here. I wonder if that's a good build. Just go full melee. Just like swipe, swipe, swipe. 
and just run in. That's the way I'm playing the character anyway. The thing is, Eucharist would only get uh, one more use. No, two more uses. Three. No, two. Two. One for mom, and then one immediately after, because the final floor is not going to give one, so... I feel like this is the way. We will go the way of the sword. Um, he gives hearts, definitely want that. Alright, let's go, this is our build. I got a lot of melee-centric stuff, so this could be good. No Whoa, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> look at the size of the sword! Because of the because of the tier because of the mega tier it's this massive sword. This is the way. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna do that right away. Wait, not yet. Okay, one more room. Yeah, this is actually kind of disgusting. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, one sec. The sword picks up the hearts too, it's broken. Oh. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Can I just, no, but it's gonna damage me. Oh no, yeah, this is, this is gross. <laughs> the charge attack. Yeah, okay. This is the first time I've seen a sword build be good. I mean, it's a shame I'll never really take advantage of the, uh... Okay, there we go. And then... Okay, that... Yeah. Yep, that's, uh, yep. No, I I thought the sword, like, first impression was, this is cool, but I don't think it's great. But <laughs> what I have now is the very specific circumstances required for this to be amazing. I hate this room. Quite rare. This is, yeah, this is true power. Right, I'm gonna go get the, the Samson soul, because I'm gonna use that and go Berserker at the end. No, and the, the synergies being presented here, they're great. Another Samson soul. It's a shame. Yep. Get, get destroyed. Oh, okay. I mean, look. I may as well, right? Yep, get the patch. <laughs> Rage grows. Excellent. Uh, do that. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Jeez, dude. Um, yeah, here's the seat if, if you want to mess around with it. I've been trying to be better about putting up the seed when the run is going well. So, there you go. Also, this card combo is, is pretty legit. I'm just gonna fill up my health bar. Shit. This room messed me up. I was gonna get it. Oh, wait. I am gonna get it. I got lucky. <laughs> and then that, and we're good again. I would, I would not have guessed that, you know, when I picked the heart, that this was going to be the result. I was just thinking, yeah, I need more health. That, that was all that was going through my head. Wait, what am I... Guy opened that chest, what am I doing? I guess. Uh huh. I mean, sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the heart, and then before I go to the next floor, I'm just gonna do it again. Like that, done. Mm. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, oh no, shot speed down. Whatever will I do? Oh no, and it's... Uh, Alright, I guess we're done. That's it, that's max health. Cool. I'm always glad to get this path out of the way. Dice room, eh? There's no reason to go in there. How about I re-roll my character? Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's bad. I guess these hearts will drain. Oh no, it's prioritizing the other hearts.
Hang on, I should... There we go. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> that was fixed very easily. Alright, here we go. Get chopped. Keep it up! Push the attack! <laughs> there we go. That was fun. Spin! Alright, done. Very cool run. I'm still iffy about the character, but I mean, it's always nice when it gives you a run like that. She died too fast, but phase one you can play volleyball with the big glob she fires because of the sword. I have done it with the Forgotten. It is fun. But yeah, that was very fortunate. Just straight up because of Genesis. That's why that that one. Otherwise, I, I was pretty much screwed. <laughs> the build I had, it was all right, but it wasn't going to win. So, okay. That's, I think, enough for Isaac for today. Hope you enjoyed the, the runs I did. I'll try to play a bit more of this tomorrow as I, I've been neglecting the game a little as I've been playing other stuff, but I will keep making my way towards that full completion, slowly but surely. I'm gonna take a short break for like two to five minutes, I just want to get some more water. Uh, I might even make myself a tea just because my throat is still a bit scratchy, but we're gonna do Stardew now, so yay, time to relax.